The primary goal of our mission is to safely execute a cross-country flight with our all-electric aircraft. So we don't rely on any fuels. So our plan to get to Bentonville is two flights a day. There's nine legs planned total. In between each of those legs, we'll be charging. It's not something that I know has been done previously, and it'll be the first time that our aircraft has done it. So it's a, it, it's a huge step forward, just showing that it is a viable future to have an electric aircraft that can travel long ranges, not just short hops. The best case scenario is that we get there, and we get there quickly within the four days. We don't run into any weather or other unforeseen issues on the road. Worst case scenario is we do not get there. Seeing the people around the airport, seeing this and coming up to Aliyah and saying, holy crap, like you guys are charging this aircraft. We've done a lot of rehearsal, a lot of preparation, a lot of flying, a lot of simulating, and so we were really confident that was we were ready to go. It only cost us $19 to fly a 160 nautical mile leg, whereas the caravan was spending 800 bucks in fuel. It's quantifiable, we can see it. We don't have to call the nasty fuel truck. We just go in and plug it in. And we're doing this away from home with minimum support. In three years, we've come from testing inverters in the corner of a hangar to actually flying across the country. So this is awesome. Seeing technology that we've developed with a bunch of hooligans in Vermont, some smart ones, and now we have it, it's real, it's flying across the country super well. There, there's no hiccups so far. It's like a dream come true.